blood and prosthetics that rival Hollywood level quality find themselves on Jalalabad Airfield, Afghanistan. A team at Task Force Eagle Attack set up a realistic training exercise for the Ford Army and Refueling or FART personnel as well as their own combat medics. So what we're doing is we're moulaging our patients up for the mass casualty exercise that we're going to do today that involves our FART personnel, our CH-47s for a Kazavac and our UH-60s for medevac, along with the aid station medics who will be the first responders and the point of injury medics. On our post, we're trying to recreate the likely injuries that we'll see if something happens here at the FARP, like whether it be IDF or just an accident happens and we have an explosion. The most likely place for any kind of devastating or mass casualty incident is gonna be here at the FARP. So we're giving FARP personnel a chance to train on their response time and their injuries. And then we're also training the medics on how to properly respond to that stuff. Be able to triage and treat on the ground as well as call in their medevacs and their casavacs. Patients will eventually end up at the roll two to assist in their exercise as well. Main thing, control and bleeding with tourniquet, and we go ahead and make sure that they're breathing, airways intact, and check circulation, and go ahead and then drop a line, drop and give them some fluids. And then we'll go ahead, after we've done it a couple times, we'll load them on the back of our vehicle, and we'll drive them over to the, to the HA-60, and we pick them up, and we we'll put them in the helicopter, waiting for the crew member to tell us where to go. And uh, it's, just, it's just nice to be a part of it, because we could look back on this in 20, 30 years, talking to my grandkids, and yeah, I was in that. Reporting from Jalalabad Airfield, I'm Army Sergeant Josh Lovely.